Hello everybody, here's my second video to make up for not having a video on Monday. Um, I was just looking through YouTube to find, and I know there's already videos out about this, so if you don't like it, don't be hating on me, but I just found it interesting, so I wanted to give my own perspective on it. I was looking through videos of people failing, um, at Millionaire, like on the first or second question, they end up losing all the money. And I came across this video, it was called The Millionaire Fraud, or something like that. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, I can't exactly remember what the video was called, but I'll leave a link in the description. And so anyway, this guy, it was on um, Millionaire in Great Britain, I think. And he was... He got picked halfway through the show, so you know how if they don't make it to the... If it's the end of the episode, the siren goes... Wah, wah, and then they come back the next day. Anyway, he, he'd been through, like, the first five questions, and he had already used, like, all three of his lifelines. And so everyone was like, okay, he'll get, like, one or two more questions right, and then he will go home. He won't end up winning any of the money. Well, this guy, he had um, an accomplice in one of the fast finger seats. And um, whenever, and he was going about the answering the questions in a really weird way. He would be like, well, it could be A. Then again, it could be B. Or it could be C. Perhaps it's D. And he would go through that methodically with each and every question. And his friend or his wife, because his wife helped him out too sometimes, because the guy that was helping him out on the sidelines didn't know the answers to the questions. But his wife helped him out on like a couple of questions. What they would do is the second he would say A, B, C, or D, and the second that he said the correct one, they would cough like, <coughs> <coughs> And so then he would know that that was the correct answer and he would get it right. Well, <coughs> the producers of the show kind of gave him the benefit of the doubt. They're like, you know, it could be anything. It could be just coincidence, blah, blah, blah. Well, they said if he would have probably stopped at the $100,000 question, $100, question, then they wouldn't have known. They wouldn't uh, have probably accused him of anything. But he did this all the way up to the million and won the million. Now, um, the next day, after they had taped the show, they call him up and they're like, we have some discrepancies with the money um, because we think there might have been cheating while you're on the show. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, he was like, okay, like, I don't care. And um, so they revoked his check he spent 18, him, his wife, and their accomplice on the side spent 18 months in jail and had to pay a fine of, like, some thousand dollars. And, um, yeah, I just, like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, they're gonna notice that this guy is coughing after every correct answer. It doesn't, oh, my goodness, how stupid. But, like, I can't believe someone would do that. You know, I mean, yes, it's a lot of money, but don't you want to earn it honestly and not by cheating? You know, because now he was going to be infamous for getting as far as he did, for even getting on the show, even, you know. And that's a positive thing to be infamous for. Now he's infamous for cheating. And that's just terrible. Like, how stupid can you be? Um, I don't know. But, yeah, they stopped the check, they made sure the check could not be cashed, and they took the money back, and they, um, he got sent to jail. Now, it was funny because the mo they they interviewed, like, this video that I saw, they interviewed all of the, like, producers of the show and everything. And they were like, usually when someone wins the million dollars, we're like totally ecstatic in the in the control room. Like we're freaking out because we're so happy for them. 
But when he won it, they were like clapping softly and being like, okay. Well, because they kind of felt like they were, again, they were giving him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he did win, you know? And, um, maybe he did, he did do it honestly. But, yeah, they, um, obviously he didn't. And so him, his friend, and his wife can never be on the show. They had all three been on the show once. He ended up getting farther than his wife did by cheating. But, um, yeah, so his wife can never audition for the show again. His friend that was the accomplice can never audition for the show again. And he can't ever audition for the show again. And it serves him right, you know? That's just... People who win the million and do it honestly, they have worked their butts off. They have studied their butts off to try and get all this money. And for someone to cheat like that, that's just that's just terrible. Um, now, the one thing that people don't like that they do on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is that they... People will use their phone a friend, and then their friends will use the internet to find the answer. I don't think that's wrong. It's it's a lifeline. It's there to help you, and there's nothing in the rules saying that your friend can't be on the internet. Um, speaking of videos, I was watching John Carpenter's video. They have the entire run of all the questions that he answered and everything, and it was so funny. I, I personally didn't see the episode. And when it first aired, but, um, he was on the million dollar question and he was like, I would like to use the lifeline. And he's like, I would like to call my dad. And so like, at and calls his dad, of course. And he's like, I really don't need help with this question, but I just want to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Um, and good for him because he did, honestly, he did it by studying and working his ass off and good for him um but yeah let me know what you think which was the punishment too severe or not severe enough or what but yeah he spent like 18 months in jail and had to pay thousands of dollars and he had to give the million dollars back um so let me know if you think that was right or if you think he should have gotten more um comment rate subscribe and tell me what you think i will see you guys tomorrow bye